Dogs have 10 pairs of cranial nerves, which is a highly developed nervous system compared to humans who have 12 pairs. In this video, let's learn more about the brain of a frog. The brain of a frog is divided into three regions, forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain. The forebrain consists of cerebrum, olfactory lobes, and diencephalon. A pair of olfactory nerves is seen passing on the ventral surface of the olfactory lobes of the frog. The olfactory lobes possess the centers for perceiving the sense of smell. Behind the two olfactory lobes, the two cerebral hemispheres are seen connected with each other by transverse bands of nerve fibers. These cerebral hemispheres possess the centers for initiating and regulating the voluntary and spontaneous movements in frogs. The cerebrum is also the center for sense of sight and smell. A hollow conical sac-like outgrowth is seen projecting from the ventral wall of the diencephalon. It is called the infundibulum. The posterior, broader end of the infundibulum is attached to a hemispherical endocrine gland called the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland controls the activities of several glands like thyroid, parathyroid, renal, and pancreatic glands. The pituitary gland also controls the metamorphosis of tadpoles and their growth. Anteriorly, two optic nerves from the two eyes cross each other on the ventral surface of the infundibulum and form an optic chiasma. The optic lobes have centers for vision. These optic lobes that are distinctly seen in the dorsal view are not seen clearly in the ventral view. The ventral and the lateral walls of the medulla oblongata are quite thick and most of the cranial nerves arise from these walls. The medulla oblongata governs certain voluntary and involuntary actions. Such actions include flinging the tongue swiftly to capture the prey, swallowing the prey, movements of organs, croaking in the breeding season as well as locomotion. The medulla oblongata also controls the processes like the peristaltic movement of the stomach wall, blood circulation and heartbeats. A longitudinal dorsal fissure runs along the median side of the dorsal wall. This fissure extends right up to the posterior end of the spinal cord. The cerebellum is prominently seen in the dorsal view of the brain. It possesses centers for controlling and regulating voluntary movements and the equilibrium of the body. It is not visible in the ventral view. Similarly, the posterior choroid plexus, anterior choroid plexus, and the pedial body are also noticeable in the dorsal view, but not visible in the ventral view. The dorsal view also exhibits the presence of the diencephalon, which is a small part located between cerebral hemispheres and optic lobes. The diencephalon possesses the center of the autonomic nervous system. The body temperature, reproductive processes, and hibernation activities are controlled by the diencephalon. The diencephalon also has the presence of receptors for the sense of touch. The brain of a frog is divided into three regions, forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain. The forebrain includes the cerebrum and olfactory lobes and is responsible for the senses of smell and sight as well as initiating and regulating voluntary movements. The midbrain includes the optic lobes, which are responsible for vision. The hindbrain includes the medulla oblongata, which controls various voluntary and involuntary actions, such as swallowing and locomotion, and the cerebellum, which controls voluntary movements and body equilibrium. The diencephalon, located in the forebrain, controls various glandular activities and body temperature, and has touch receptors.